Photographers like Ted Huggins were not just telling the story of the Golden Gate Bridge, they were part of the story. Construction of the Golden Gate Bridge began during one of the darkest chapters in America's history. The Great Depression represented a challenge to the industrial capacity of the United States when 15 million Americans were out of work. In the early 1930s, Standard Oil of California joined a partnership to promote the bridge in an effort to stimulate the economy and attract visitors to the West. Bridge construction was often pictured in the company's monthly magazine distributed to the public. As the president of Standard Oil of California, later Chevron, Kenneth R. Kingsbury took one of his top public relations executives, Ted Huggins, and he said, document this. Show the future being brought into being through this bridge. He was a visionary because he saw the possibility and the potential of the Golden Gate Bridge and what it could do for the California economy, especially at a time when the California economy, like the rest of the United States, was in a deep depression. Ted Huggins was the consummate public relations man, but he also had this other hidden talent. He was an amateur photographer and a very gifted one at that. On January 5th, 1933, construction began on the Golden Gate Bridge. When construction started, the word went out. We need workers in San Francisco to build this great bridge. My father scrambled all over, up and down cables, in construction buckets. He took thousands of pictures. Ted Huggins would spend three and a half years documenting every step of bridge construction. It became more and more apparent as the mosaic of the bridge was assembled, that the American worker was not down and out, uh, that we would recover from the depression. Ted captured the majesty of the bridge, and his photographs went around the world and helped people understand the scope of what was happening in California. As Ted Huggins' contemporary, Ansel Adams, another great Bay Area photographer, pointed out, a good photographer often had about 1 13th of a second to find the image that released the narrative. Ted Huggins had a genius to use that split second to find the story of brave men battling the fog, the wind, the dangers of working at such heights. One thing that really comes through when you look at those photos, you realize what a can-do spirit existed in California at the time. Many of the men would later say, I felt so proud working on that bridge. And they would tell people for the rest of their life that they worked on that bridge. Ted Huggins captures that moment. In May 1937, the people of the San Francisco Bay Area took possession of this bridge. And as they walked across or drove across, dazzled by its beauty, they took possession of the future. The entire collection serves as a visual record of one of the most iconic structures in the world. My dad felt that he was lucky to be a part of it. Ted Huggins knew that the Golden Gate Bridge was a masterpiece, and he paid tribute to that masterpiece through the legacy of his photographs. I'm building a world around you. Chevron is a proud sponsor of the Golden Gate Bridge 75th anniversary, and Chevron remains committed to keeping California moving forward. For more information about Ted Huggins' photographs, visit chevron.com slash CA.